Hey buddy, it's with 4 d Star, and this is our second part of our Construct 2 Android development um, test game. I put I put in the left and right, I put in a health bar icon, I enabled the shooting, I enabled um, collecting ammo. That's about it. I've also enabled uh, solid boxes so you can't hit things. And if we run the layout, we go big. I'm going to click here and we shoot. We also have... Um, an ammunition limit, so I just wasted some ammo. I'm gonna go collect some now. I collected some ammo. Uh, now we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna show you how to do this, and then the next part will be dealing with basically having your bullet stop and maybe do a little uh, splat explosion or whatever. Um, and, and then some extra effects, and finally our enemy. Where we explore, kill all the enemies for that level, collect ammo, um, and then basically it's it's very similar to a top-down version of Wolfenstein or Doom. We all you do is just kill enemies, and then get to the final level to where you, uh, uh, yeah, where you basically win. Also, I've enabled where if it's below one bullet, it doesn't shoot anymore. So let's get straight to this. All right, so let's go for the uh, coding. The movement should, it's very similar. It's just copy and paste everything. You don't actually need to um, keep duplicating this on touch at zero in thing. You just need it once. So you, all you need to do is is touching right box and is touching left box. Remember that you're gonna have two layers. One's a UI layer. The other layer is just for everything else. So if it's not UI, it's on layer zero. If it's a user interface item, it's then on layer one. And remember, layer one has a parallel ax of zero slash zero. Uh, my user interface stuff is the, oops, um, is the handgun. Uh, the health has two items. One is the actual health bar, health bar which we're gonna do in our next tutorial. And then the actual um, indicator around it, the fire button, and then the movement buttons. So the left box and the right box is just your collision right here. And basically you build them the same way right here. You just say left box, right box, and then you actually simulate the controls by saying left. And then you simulate custom movement by saying horizontal, minus 50. And then set position to the actual um, uh, setting position of our decorative little thumb uh, movement item. That little sprite that's going to move to the position of where our thumb's moving. But our thumb's going to be moving over onto the um, where our left box collision box is. So we would need to move then the little sprite circle to the center of the left box. So you need to say left box X and, and left box Y by just clicking or just typing in left, double click, left and right. And this, you just uh, highlight what, whatever's here, double click, highlight that, double click, and you're good to go. Um, and then we are then going to the, um, uh, ignore anything that says health at this moment. Um, I haven't, because we don't have an enemy, it's, it's basically, it is working, but it's not because it, the guy's always at a hundred health and he hasn't taken any damage yet. Um, and so we're going to be working on our ammo next. So you want to click right and add a global variable. And set that global variable for ammo and set initial value for 10. So he's going to have 10 plasma bullets in his handgun. And then untouch the fire button. Or ours, mine is named Sprite 6, but it's the shoot button. Um, you, The guys, the actual... Um, oh, and I need to tell you this real quick. Because we, because his hand, his gun is actually placed in his hand and is part of him. What I did was I created a shoot box. This is by clicking right, insert new object, insert sprite, and then that sprite, and I just clicked on it right there, right here. 
that's his box and that's the shoots box that box is um, pinned to the sprite so on start of layout the shoot box is pinned to the player position and angle now what we're gonna do is um, on touch the shoot sprite the button that we tap to shoot the uh, on touch object hit the shoot sprite button um, the shoot sprite which is that little 4x4 four four pixel is um, going to spawn and it's going to spawn sprite 9 and sprite 9 is our bullet system so, uh, choose variable to change now this is going into global variables so basically our system so you want to go to system um, subtract from ammo one and then you want to create a text box um, and then set well here's the thing you're going to create a text box zoom out right right next to my handgun icon is a sprite box and then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set this so text set set text ammo so okay anything from system ammo or from our global variable ammo is going to be updated in our ammo text so that's why you're going to know oh he has um Actually, I want to try something real quick. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, what you want to actually do, uh, what you want to do, guys, is also add it as on start of layout, set text to ammo. This will automatically update, um, you know, basically how much bullets he has. And so, you know, okay, when you're going to the game, I have 10 bullets. I now have eight bullets. I go over here and I collect more bullets. And I got 16 bullets. I shoot more, two more bullets. So that's always going to update and tell you and say, hey, um, you know, on touch sprite, you spawned a bullet. Um, and I, okay, on this sprite bullet, I set behaviors to bullet. So you wanna, you wanna, um, yeah. it'll just say behaviors, add, and then you'll click bullet and then you won't mess with it because it'll be pretty good unless you want like a lightning ray or something like that and then so it's pretty simple and then all you want to do is add click right and insert um insert another condition which is if the variable ammo is greater uh so okay um choose variable so it's going to on sprite it's going to spawn a bullet and subtract one but if it's greater than but it has to be greater than zero let me just rephrase that uh, or make sure you understand it's only going to shoot if you're greater than zero which means if you have one bullet left it's going to shoot but if you have no bullets left which means zero so you got to be greater than zero which is a one uh, it's not going to shoot if you got zero bullets now we have ammo on collision with Sprite 10, which is a battery pack for our little plasma handgun, um, add 8 to ammo, set text to ammo, Sprite destroy. Oops. Run layout. So now our character mo can move right and left, up, down. He can shoot. He can collect ammo. But we don't have an enemy or anything like that. So in our next tutorial, I'm going to have an enemy that does not move. But, you know, will rotate toward you. Not rotate toward you, but rotate, you know. If you get near him or whatever, he'll rotate to where you're facing him. Your bullets will kill him. And they'll also do splash damage. And if you run into him, uh, then you will take damage. So these will be mini tutorials so you understand, you know, exactly what's going on. 
and I'll update uh, after this in like an hour or two I'll show you I'll upload a video of um, what I have so far on my Android device and anyway, we're gonna you actually probably not in the next video but the video after that when we actually finish a level so not like one two three four levels but when we finish one level I'm going to show you how to export it to test um, how it runs on the Android device and how you can export it because there's two ways but I don't want us worrying about that until we have to and I'll explain certain things and why we do it that way also as I know guys I will be doing another Android tutorial um, dealing with um, sorry there I had to go out for a little bit um, dealing with um, a game similar to Orcs Must Die where you have to put up obstacles and uh, stop orcs from entering your castle. So um, hopefully you will like that idea and that type of gameplay tutorial setup dealing with traps, orcs following a path or multiple different types of paths and you setting up traps to stop them. So again, hit the like button if, if this helped at all, if it's helping you create an, a mobile game and I'll try to put up the next one and, and like the next day. I'm trying to do a video every day around my very, very busy schedule. So um, thanks for supporting me, for, well, liking and all that stuff, guys. It really helps out. Bye.